Hey, hello everybody, welcome to the Sound Test Room. Today we are taking a look at Synthmaster 1 and uh, Patch from Scratch. I'm thinking at the moment some sort of lead with an ARP. Just did this one. Which is quite nice. Um, So yeah, we'll, we'll keep it quite simple. First thing we want to do is go where we says preset here and we'll just go init and we'll have a saw wave here. Uh, we'll leave it on that just for a moment. We'll set up some other bits and pieces to start. So th first thing I'm going to do is where it says unison, I'm going to increase this to three and this will be a little bit louder now. So, and then we're going to, Push the width up. Um, bring the tone down. Engage the filter. Get some release. Change the waveform now. I'm going to change this to a pulse. And we need to bring our phase up to hear it, so. We're gonna modulate the phase. So we've got pulse width modulation, uh, if you know what I mean. So I'm just going to make sure the volume's turned down a little bit as well. So we turn down the volume of the whole thing, so. It's a little bit fiddly doing this with the mouse as well, so I'll be able to touch it occasionally with my finger. So first of all, I'm just going to use LFO1 here and I'm going to pick it up here. And when phase is highlighted there, I'm going to drop it on. At the moment, switch bipolar on. Decrease the volume so it's not kind of just the amount. To slow it down. Coolest trick here with the LFOs <clears throat> is at the moment every time I tap a note, you'll see it's re-triggering. I don't want it to do that. I want it to run through the run through the LFOs waveform um, just while I'm playing. So go into this poly mode here and select global. <coughs> now wherever I play, it will just carry on scanning. So that's plucky enough for an ARP. I'm going to do the cut out with my finger, hang on. And then bring some resonance in, I think. Now, if we go into LFO3, <clears throat> this is the vibrato LFO, so it says VLFO. And this is, we can apply the amount here. So watch what happens, or listen to what happens as well. It's in bipolar again, so 
we can just reduce the volume to control the amount. I'm going to take the amount down a little bit. So there's just a little bit of movement now. Now, if we want to apply the filter here to LFO1 or LFO2, we can do that here. So we can do it in a positive and negative value. So. And because it's also controlling our phase, we're getting even more movement now. This is our sub. I don't think we need a sub oscillator in there. Okay, let's go to our <clears throat> harp now and switch harp on. Okay, we want to be looking at sequence where it says mode here, and I'm going to choose arpeggiate. You can pick any any kind of arpeggiation you like, but we have the rates here in the steps. So you can have sixteen steps. You can have a a more of a. a we could have two octaves. I'll do this with my finger. Two octave range. We can add some swing to it as well. into our effects now we definitely want some delay on this so i'm going to turn the delay on now you'll see here it says delay left is a quarter delay right is a quarter i'm going to set delay right to one quarter dotted and if you're listening through headphones that makes a huge difference now we want to be going into reverb I like to do with the reverb is put loads of modulation on it. Okay. We can maybe add some chorus as well. And this, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to start to increase the volume because the effects and stuff have made them a bit quieter. Maybe detune the unison a little bit. If we go back into the art, we could change the the, the base rate. Open this to a dotted. Well, what about one eight dotted? Might be nice. 
16th dotted. Now we can control, make it more snappy with taking a release down. And then that's it, guys. Uh, that was a really just a quick one, just to show you how to how easy it is to <clears throat> set up. And I only used one oscillator. Oscillator two was turned off. So we've got to be careful of the phase here, so we can let's take the phase up a little bit more. Reduce the range, or the phase will take. If if you're on a pulse, of course, it will take it down to nothing. But we can mess around now. We could just change. I mean, there's a gazillions of waveforms we can choose from. To do this with my fingers, um, maybe um, okay. Just. Play around with different waveforms. Oh, wait, we could use wave tables as well. Some from Dean. Do get a huge range of stuff. Apply some analog drift. Not too much though. <laughs> Change an algorithm. Like Synth Master 2, you can go very, it's, uh, although Synth Master 1 is not as powerful as Synth Master 2, you can go extremely deep with Synth Master 1. And if you spend a long time, uh, you know, playing with all the different modulation features. I mean, it's super easy. You could take, for instance, LFO2, and we could take, we could pick LFO2 up and basically drop it anywhere. We could drop that onto the drift if we like. Drift, let me just pick it up. Drift. And again, like I said, I don't like when it's, especially when it's, I don't want my uh, uh, LFO to re-trigger each time a note is played, especially with an ARP, because you'll only get the very first part of the wave. If we hit change this to global, which is really handy, no matter what keys we play, It's going to carry on tracking through the LFO. Very nice indeed. Oh, I've gone on too long. Guys, thanks very much. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. Please consider becoming a Patreon uh, to help support me and Joe. Okay. Bless you all. I hope you enjoy the rest of your day. Thank you for watching. I'll see you later. Ta-ra.